Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to today's video. I've actually filmed a 24 hours with my four month old baby. So this video today is all about little Miss Penny Pops. I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and if you're not already, I hope you're hitting that subscribe button. I have left in the description box a kind of like rough guide of what our day um, and night looks like. Every day is different, but we do try to stick to a schedule with Penny now. She's four months. So she typically wakes anywhere between half past six and half past seven. Today, like you saw, it was actually 20 past seven and I had to go and wake her up. I can't really leave it much past this because she will have a bottle as soon as she wakes up. And I do have two other children um, that we need to get ready for school so she can't really lay in bed much past half past seven so today it was 20 past seven we have some cuddles as soon as I wake her up and then it's a nappy change and then it's her first bottle of the day usually we'll either give it to her upstairs or downstairs it just so happened that today um, the other two children were still in bed when I got Penny up so I just decided to stay upstairs because I knew they would both come in so we give her a six ounce bottle in the morning as her first bottle she doesn't always drink this um, she mainly is on five ounce bottles but I am trying to increase it to six ounces so she will have one or two bottles during the day that are six ounce bottles. And she's now said good morning to her sister and her brother. And just shortly you will see daddy coming in to say bye bye before he heads off to work. She absolutely adores everybody. Um, she's always so full of smiles. She really, really is the happiest baby ever. Just look at that face. Okay, now that bottle is finished, it's time to actually leave my bedroom. So Penny goes downstairs, you'll see in just a second, for a little play before we head out for the school run. Hello, baby. Are you okay? What are you saying? Princess. <laughs> what are you saying to Mama? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, so it's now 8.30, so I'm just getting Penny ready to pop into her pram. Um, we're actually walking to the school today, hence why I'm popping her into her pram seat before she goes into her buggy. Um, it's quite cold out in the morning, so I like to make sure she's all wrapped up, and then we usually get back in just after 9am. If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper Okay, so her brother and sister are safely in school. So now we're back home and Penny actually is asleep. Um, today she fell asleep on the way back home sometimes this happens sometimes it doesn't because she actually had her pram suit on I didn't want to leave her asleep in the buggy because she just gets too hot um, so I managed to transition her to the sleepy head but you'll see in a second the nap didn't last very long at all that wasn't a very long nap was it that was not a very long nap no, it wasn't. No, are you smiling? Oh, you can smile, Mama. E cheeky. E cheeky lady. So she's only had about half an hour, which um, is a bit hit or miss after the school run as to whether she will go to sleep. 
um, but because we walked this morning, she fell to sleep in her buggy. Um, so I managed to, <laughs> she's smiling at me. I managed to transition her from the car seat. Usually I would leave her in there, but because she had her pram suit on because we walked, she would just get too hot. Um, so I did manage to transition her to her sleepy head, but she's had about half an hour. So what we'll do now is we're gonna head upstairs and get you dressed for the day. Yes, we are. Um, we'll go and get her dressed and then I'll then give her another bottle. I'll obviously film it all and then she will then go down for a bigger sleep, which will be a couple of hours. So yeah, let's go and get you dressed, shall we? Never. Okay, now we're upstairs just getting Penny her outfit so I can get her dressed for the day. Um, and then what we will do then once she's dressed is we'll head back downstairs so she can have another bottle and then that is when she will go down for her bigger nap that she has like late morning, early afternoon. downstairs in the utility and I'm just getting her a bottle ready so you'll see here the bottle is slightly smaller than the one she had this morning we use the MAM um, anti-colic bottle she loves them her dummies are MAM also um, for this feed I am just making a five ounce bottle um, because like I said at the start she doesn't fully take six ounces so I end up just wasting quite a lot of milk so this one is a five ounce bottle before she goes down for her nap you'll see we're just enjoying the cuddles um, and she's decided to have a little talk with me she's so cute honestly um, I try to keep her like feeding times quite nice and relaxed and quiet because now she's very very alert so um, if I've got the TV on anything like that she can get distracted quite easily so yeah we just have lovely cuddles so she can drink all of her milk after this second bottle which usually she does go down for a nap um, straight away but she seemed quite awake so um, I like to put her down about 11 a.m. and I think it was about quarter two here so I just laid her on her play mat um, and we just had a little play before I took her upstairs so yeah you'll see here it's just after 11 a.m. so I'm just popping her upstairs and putting in her into her sleep sack um, and then she's just in the snooze pod which is next to my bed I do not have the side up as yet because she is not rolling she's being very lazy bless her she's not rolling or sitting or anything like that so I am able to leave the side down for now um, and I just put the cot on a diagonal so that I can see her from the baby monitor um, I close the shutters shut the curtains and then I always set rainforest sleep signs it's a free um, sleep sign that you can get on the Amazon devices and she goes to sleep 
with that on. And flowers everywhere. And then today she actually had a very, very good nap. She slept for just under three hours. Um, so it was about 2 p.m. Um, at this point when I've gone to collect her from the cot. And we do a nappy change and then we head downstairs to make her another bottle. Another yours. So we're gonna go and make Pen her third bottle and I'm probably gonna do this one as a six ounce. Um, she doesn't have every feed that's six ounces at the moment, although that's what it says she should be on on the back of the tin. Um, she's not. She Most of her bottles are five. Um, the one this morning that I made was six, so her first bottle I tend to make as a six, but she didn't drink it all this morning. She had about five and a half, so she only left half an ounce. Um, but I'm trying to just put another one in. Um, but I think because she's had like a long three hour nap, she'll probably want to take a little bit more. So yeah, I'm gonna go make you another bottle, aren't we? Okay, so I'm just preparing her bottle and then you'll see me going into the living room with Penny where we'll just sit down again like we did before, just nice and quiet um, so she can take her feed. Again, a little play. She loves to do row the boat. Look at her face, bless her. Um, and then before we know it, it is time to get ready again to head back up to the school. Um, so I'm just like this morning popping her pram suit on because I walked again. Weather permitting, I do try and walk just to get my steps in. And she loves to just have a little look around in her pram. Um, but yeah, we're going to head up to the school and then back. And she actually fell to sleep um, on today's walk. So you'll see in a moment. I'm getting some lovely, lovely sleepy cuddles from her once we are back. See the logic of things. It's quite a lonely world that we're living in. Oh, baby, you are something special, I'm sure. Everything makes total sense when you're next to me. here it's about 4 p.m. and I'm just enjoying all the cuddles to be honest guys um, oh I just can't get enough of it so yeah just excuse me while I just lay here with a sleepy sleepy penny Okay, 
she slept for so long bless her so she's now just having another bottle so this is a six ounce bottle so she has actually had um three six ounce bottles today which meant that one of her feeds was reduced so usually she has five bottles um she can leave a few ounces in the morning from the six ounce but today because she had three six ounce bottles we dropped one of the feeds so she only had four and she drank her milk so well um so you'll see me now i'm just heading upstairs to get her ready for bed so i'm just getting her a sleep suit out and then we do another nappy change get her all nice and cozy ready for bed and then it's just a very calm routine so I don't bath her every night it just so happened the night that I was filming this routine it wasn't bath night I usually give her a bath every other night or every I leave two nights in between just so I don't want to dry her skin out um, but yeah she will just go back into her sleep sack the same thing she'll go with her rainforest sounds on the Alexa device um, and to be honest she's so good at night she doesn't wake for a feed so she will usually go down anywhere from about half past seven to half past eight depending when she has her last bottle and then other than me having to pop her dummy in throughout the night that I might hear um, she might wake me up she doesn't really cry um, that's it that, until the next morning so yeah I couldn't be more grateful for her she's so amazing up this a baby's day in the life I really hope you enjoyed I'm actually gonna try and film one of these every month because quite honestly I cannot believe Penelope it's four months um, it's crazy how fast it's gone and I just want to be able to look back on these videos um, if you've got any questions leave them for me down below and I will see you in my next video bye everyone Something special, I'm sure.